YouTube, it's Thea, and this video is going to be my TBR for the Buzzwordathon round two. If you don't know, the Buzzwordathon is a readathon that was started by Lala from Books and Lala to just read um, really casual, just read books that specific on a certain like buzzword. Last time it was books that had girl in the title. Um, this time it focus read it's to read books that focus with the word um, that have the buzzword lie or lying or liar, um, and I always really enjoy this readathon. Last time I did it, it's super casual and chill. There's no challenges. It's just read whatever you enjoy, um, but still, you know, it's still a way that you can read what you would like. This has certain word in that that specific buzzword in the title. Um, I surprisingly only had one book on my shelf that had lie or lying in some form. I think it's because I don't really read a lot of like thriller or like mystery novels. So I have one on my shelf and then I picked up three from the library. I am definitely not going to get through all four of these, but these are what I am going to kind of read. You know, maybe I do like try a chapter tag, for, maybe do like try a chapter for each of them and see what really sparks my interest and then maybe do like two for the readathon. Um, I'm in a new job. I have like no time to read during the day. My only reading is on the weekends and like at night so I'm definitely not going to get through all four of these but I just wanted to share with you guys what my TBR is so let's go ahead and dive right in. The book on that I had on my shelf is Lie to Me by J.T. Ellison. Um, I don't know much about it. I know it's like a domestic thriller. I just hauled it recently in my December book haul which I will link down below if you haven't seen it but basically um it follows a couple, Sutton and Ethan, whose idealistic life is not as it appears. They seem made for each other, but the truth is ugly. Consumed by professional and personal betrayals and financial woes, the two both love and hate each other. As tensions mount, Sutton disappears, leaving behind a note saying not to look for her. Ethan finds himself the target of vicious gossip as friends, family, and the media speculate on what really happened to Sutton. As the police investigate the lies the couples have the lies the couple have been spitting for years quickly unravel. Is Ethan a killer? Is he being set up? Did Sutton hate him enough to kill the child she never wanted and then herself? It has like Gone Girl vibes um, and I really enjoyed Gone Girl so this might be uh, another kind of fun read as well. So I figured this might be something that I can go ahead and try to pick up. Um, there aren't any challenges for the readathon but they are doing a buddy read and this is something that's been on my TBR for a little bit and so I figured it might be something worth a try and that is the last time I lied by Riley Sager, who is the author of Final Girls, which I never got around to reading last year, is going to. Um, but this has been on my TBR and it seems really interesting. And it's the body read, I think, thought it might be worth a try. Um, a young woman returns to her childhood summer camp to uncover the truth about a tragedy that happened there 15 years ago. Um, but I was super intrigued. It seems like it was going to be a fun. Um, read to read it like a fun nighttime read so I figured it was worth the try. And the next option I have here is Seven Ways We Lie by Riley Redgate. This is more of like a YA contemporary. Uh, it says seven students, seven deadly sins, one secret. Palmoa High School is, ordina is ordinary by anyone's standards. It's got the same cliques, the same prejudice, the same suspect cafeteria food, and like at every high school, each student has something to hide. From Kat, the thespian who conceals her trust issues on stage, to Valentine, the neurotic genius who's planted the seed of a school scandal. When the scandal bubbles over and rumors of a teacher-student affair surface, everyone starts hunting for someone to blame. For the seven unlikely allies at the heart of it all, their ordinary their ordinary seeming lives result in extraordinary change. This probably might be the one that I uh, read. I'm not sure. It's pretty short. Um, and I feel like I can read a YA contemporary pretty quickly, so I think I might go ahead and try to pick this one up. The last option I have here is Love, Lies, and Spies by Cindy Ashty. Um, I had uh, Carols and Chaos on my TBR for Tis the season of fun and never got around to it, um, so maybe I'll actually read this. I think this is more of like a historical, uh, YA, like historical fiction. Um, it says here... Uh, Juliana isn't your ordinary 19th century lady. She's more interested in publishing her research on ladybugs than in marriage or fashionable dresses. Spencer isn't your ordinary 19th century gentleman. He's a spy for the war office on his first mission, but when Spencer's assignment involves keeping an eye on the lovely Julia and her friends, their plans for a season without romance are unapologetically foiled. So this sounds like a historical romance. Um, I don't know if I'm going to pick this one up. 
I might give it a try, but this is on my TBR as well. So these are the uh, four potential books that I have on my TBR for Buzzword a Thon Round 2. I think realistically I might get to Seven Ways We Lie and then either The Last Time We Lied or Lie to Me. I think um, the contemporary and then the thriller might be the way I go. But let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these, any thoughts, comments, and opinions about them. Are you participating in Buzzword a Thon? If you are, what are you reading? Um, as always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe if not already. Thank you so much for watching. Happy reading, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!